Hi folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. This is how to get pregnant with fertility signals. How to get pregnant using fertility signs as you probably know. The primary fertility signs all ovulating women produce are basal temperature, cervical and cervical position. The easiest gesture to predict is the basal or working temperature as it is very telling and objective. Women blueprinting their temps for a few 30-day periods find it a fun challenge to predict the day their temp will vary or alternate. A woman's pre-ovulatory waking temperatures range from 97.0 to 97.7. After ovulation, they stay elevated 12 to 16 days later. If she were to become pregnant the elevated temp would remain. Temperatures typically rise as a result of the heat-inducing hormone progesterone. Progesterone is released by the corpus luteum the follicle that previously contained the egg before it burst from the ovary. So the rise in temperature signifies that ovulation has already occurred. When interpreting temps, train yourself to see what is hiding in plain sight. Preovulation temps are suppressed by estrogen and as previously mentioned, the heat-induced temps from progesterone. The point should be stressed that the rise in temps indicates that ovulation has begun. It may help to think of the body as an incubator to nurture an egg which may have been conceived to be fertilized. You should be aware of factors that may raise your basal temperature, fever, alcohol, three hours or less sleep, difference in time taking temp, using electric blanket or heating pad, temperature, stress and late period how they affect getting pregnant waking temperature can be extremely helpful in projecting how long the cycle will be because they can identify if you had a delay ovulation that would cause your period to be longer than usual. Once the temperature rises, it's 12 to 14 days before the next period. Consistently charting and noting patterns will enable you to determine your body's patterns and more specifically what your post-ovulatory range island cervical fluid. What we don't know one of the first thing women notice when charting is the cycle of cervical fluid. Next women encounter frustration at how little we know of our bodies. No you were not dirty. No you did not need to douche away the discharge. Charting will enable you to know what is an infection versus normal cervical fluids. Plus women who don't chart are in constant flux due to not knowing whether they are late. Cervical fluid to females is what seminal fluid is to men. Since men are always fertile, they produce fluid constantly. Women, on the other hand, only produce fluid a few days a month when we are fertile around ovulation. Therefore we produce this fluid to aid the sperm and thus protect it from the acidic vagina. It is fairly intuitive. Once the sperm travels from the penis to the vagina, the medium is needed for its safe transfer from the vagina up to the cervix. The final and most fertile cervical fluid often resembles egg white. Most obviously its feel is very slippery. This final fluid occurs a few days prior to menses. This can be described as runny clear egg white. How to get pregnant with cervical position Ever know this intercourse can be uncomfortable in certain positions at different times? Or sometimes inserting your diaphragm is difficult for it seems there's no room to insert it. This is all because the cervix, the lower part of the uterus that extends into your vagina, goes through some amazing cyclical changes throughout your cycle all of which can be felt. Your cervix is a wealth of information on the state of your fertility at your fingertips. Just as with cervical fluid, the cervix itself prepares for pregnancy every cycle by becoming soft and high and open around ovulation. The cervix is in most cases hard like the tip of your nose but becomes soft and cushy like lips as ovulation approaches to admit sperm easy entrance to the womb. Hi folks, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. This is how to get pregnant with fertility signals. How to get pregnant using fertility signs as you probably know, the primary fertility signs all.